Fix Launch X431 Smart Link. Function inactive or expired instantly. Full working solution inside. Hey there, fellow tech lovers and automotive troubleshooters. If you've ever found yourself staring at that annoying function is inactive or expired message on your Launch X431 Smart Link device, you're definitely not alone. But before you toss that VCI module across the garage, Take a deep breath because today I'm walking you through the exact fix you need. And hey, if this video saves your day or helps you even a little, hit that like button to show some love. While you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and drop a comment telling us what diagnostic tool you use the most. We read every one. Now, here's the issue. One of our viewers had a Launch X431 Pro 5 paired with the SmartLink C2.0. While the main unit was working fine, things went sideways when trying to connect the VCI SmartLink module. Instead of a smooth connection, they got slapped with a frustrating error saying, function is inactive or expired. Sounds familiar? You're probably scratching your head, wondering if something's broken. But no, this is actually a built-in limitation tied to the super remote diagnosis feature on the launch device. Let me explain. This error message is your device's way of saying, Hey, you've entered the super remote diagnosis interface, but you haven't unlocked it yet. That's right, the feature is there, but it's locked behind an activation wall. To get it working, you need to activate it using a super remote diagnosis activation card. Once activated, you'll also need to purchase a connection card to establish communication remotely. This feature isn't just exclusive to the Launch X431 Pro 5. In fact, it works across several of Launch's advanced diagnostic tools, like the SmartLink C standalone device, X431 Pad V, Pad 7, Pro 5, Pro 3V Plus Elite, and the Pro 3S Plus Elite series. So if you're using any of these, you're in the right ecosystem to unlock remote diagnostics. Quick heads up though, and this is important, super remote diagnosis does not work in a few specific regions. If you're in the USA, Canada, Mexico, Australia, Brazil, or Japan, unfortunately, this feature is restricted and won't function even after activation. So what do you do next? To get this sorted, all you need to do is follow the step-by-step -step guide provided by Launch to activate your remote diagnosis function. It's a straightforward process as long as you have the right activation and connection cards in hand. And trust me, once it's activated, the power of remote diagnostics can truly change the way you service vehicles, especially across long distances or multiple shop locations. If this helps solve your issue, don't keep it to yourself. Tap that like button and let YouTube know this video is worth sharing. Still have questions? The comments section is open and I'll do my best to help you out. And hey, if you're one of the many viewers who've been watching our videos without subscribing, what's stopping you? We create practical, no-nonsense guides just like this one, made especially for mechanics, technicians, and automotive enthusiasts who live and breathe diagnostic tools. Make sure to subscribe now and turn on notifications so you never miss a fix. Thanks for watching till the end, and here's your final reminder. Leave a like, drop a comment, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Until next time, stay sharp, stay connected, and keep those scan tools buzzing.